Good evening from Gallup, New Mexico. The sun is setting behind us and we're here at the famous El Rancho Hotel right on historic Route 66. We've been by here before, we've been inside before we've been on Route 66 checking it out. Those videos will be in the description below. But this is our first time staying here at the El Rancho Hotel. Can't wait. We're gonna give you a little room tour, show you everything this hotel has to offer. Let's head inside and check it out. Heading into Hotel El Rancho. Charm of yesterday, convenience of tomorrow. El Rancho Hotel, National Historic Site. That is so cool, look at the neons. Oh, the doors, the restaurants rather to the right, it smells amazing. You can uh, have your card here while you check in. Drop your bags off and everything. Directed year, month, day, Hotel Rancho, charm of yesterday, convenience of tomorrow. They have a patio area you can sit at out here. That's nice. And then heading over this way, one of the doors over there that open for us. Everything is just so nice here. Oh, by the way, that's Route 66 right there. So in our Route 66 video, you, you'll see us like, we stopped by here for Route 66 and everything. And I'll zoom in on the sign out there so you can see a little more closer. There we go. Hotel El Rancho, historic Route 66. We wanted to stay here last time, but we just couldn't make it work with our Route 66 trip. So now we are here. Door locked, one in at 5.30, please ring bell. Look at this stuff. A wagon wheel on the window. There's a little mailbox right there. And then coming inside. Wow. There's the check-in desk. This is, this, this is actually beautiful. They got a penny machine back here behind us. You can see your souvenir penny. We'll have to get one of those for sure. And look at this, we're gonna walk all around there too, look at everything, but got all the seating out here. There's a giant fireplace. It's too warm right now for the fireplace. Oh, just look at that. Man. We have a chandelier. It's like the wagon wheels. There's three of them together. All right, let's do that. This is so cool. We made it up to the second story that overlooks where we just came from the lobby. Look at all the seating down there. Wow, this is amazing, and it's the... Um, going up, so are these the people that stayed here? Oh, I think so. Yeah. And there's just like... We can spend an hour showing you all the pictures. And there's just pictures everywhere. There's books to read here. Look at these seats. Those are nice. Everything here is just so neat. The old windows, the old balconies. There's a look at now at the lobby we just came from. And there's just literally probably hundreds and hundreds of photos here of all people who have stayed here or filmed movies here or stayed here while they're filming movies. Yeah, let's go out here. Look at this. Oh, this is nice. We have rocking chairs and tables. And there it is. The El Rancho Hotel. And this is overlooking Route 66. You can sit here and just watch the traffic go by on Route 66. This is a nice little patio area up here. Oh wow, there's a huge bird nest in that light. Just show the neon sign. Yeah, there's the neon right I'll zoom in for a little bit of that on that. Closer for you. There you go. We are taking the elevator up to the third floor. This is very old school. So you have like the doors out there and uh, the door outside this door and the metal gate. Yeah. This is interesting and stuff. Floor three. So now we gotta open this. Oh, so we just open. Yep. And voila, <laughs> we're here. We are heading over to our room now. We have a two queen room and every room is named after a celebrity. We did try to get a suite, but since we had to change our plans last minute to get out of here, we weren't able to get one, but we did get a standard two queen room. Rita Hayworth, Bob Hutton, 
William Bennett, that's our room right there. And then Forrest Tucker's right there next to us. And so this is also really cool, look at this. Room 320, you got the old style real key right there. So we're gonna go on into this room now. We did just drop our luggage off a second ago, but look at that. Real key and everything. All right, as you walk in, you got some artwork on the wall. That's actually a picture, not artwork. <laughs> That's an old picture. But look at this stuff. Yeah. El Rancho. Hang tassel on outdoor knob to indicate privacy, please. So you have a tassel hanging here on a horseshoe. There's a closet right here, just a standard small closet. Over here, you got like the boot spur. And you got all the little different things here. This is interesting to read. And then coming into our room, this is the two queen room. They have king, two queens, and they also have uh, several different suites here. And they also have a separate building. In the future, we have to come here again. This is already awesome to start off with. You get like the presidential, or they had a John Wayne suite. Look at this cowboy hat. You got the lasso on the wall. That is cool. And I'll turn around real quick just so you can see where we just came in at. So here's one of the queen bed. I like how you have a little space at the end of it to kind of put your shoes on and everything. You have a lamp on that side. You have a lamp on this side. And then you have a telephone here. It's like the new modern, but it's like a new, like old school phone. It's very Western, you're right, Steph. Old West. And this is like the uh, information here, gym access, pool area, it's closed for the season right now, Wi-Fi. And on the back, this is the elevator. We just took that here to get to our room. Elevator instructions, I love this. Right on Route 66. More artwork on the wall, I like that. Ceiling fan. There's only one ceiling fan. What's that, babe? Pictures, artwork, we'll call it artwork. Another light there, only one ceiling fan in here. And then this is not Route 66 here, Route 66 is on the other side, but you do have a view, kind of the city a little bit. The pool is down that way to our left. And then coming over here, it's your second queen bed. Again, two uh, bedside tables, two lamps, tissues. You do have a little small desk right here, so it's just enough size to work on if you have a laptop or anything. Uh, that door is sealed off. Uh, also, AC controls over here, but they did tell us when you check in, the AC's on right now, but there's no heat. So depending on what time of the year you come, you'll have AC or you'll have heat. You got a nice mirror on the wall. And then TV, you have your uh, clock, tissues, everything over here. You got a free, uh, or a couple bottles of water for free over here. You got your coffee, and this is just information about um, kind of what's around the area. There's like the restaurant hours, the gift shop, the bar, talked about the ice machine, all that. Nothing on the back there. And we planned to eat that restaurant too. When we walked in, oh my gosh, it smelled so good, didn't it, Steph? It did. And then there's a uh, little more information right there. And you got uh, room 320, enjoy your stay. And you also have a little plug here. It's got, I think, three plug or two plugs on it. And then it has three USBs and some little uh, chest of drawers there store your clothes in but just nice it's a nice room in here and a unique like layout as you come in the door there one queen and then one queen over here and then the king rooms we saw online are about half this size you probably wonder where the bathroom is it's an old hotel on route 66 it's a small bathroom but it is clean in there and it's, it's cool looking so there's your bathroom i like it <laughs> you can probably see my hand there hello everybody towels up there you get your sink and everything all your product amenities you need right there. And then, I like the shower curtain too. Hotel uh, El Rancho at nighttime with the neon. And just to show you there, the shower. But I mean, you can see it's, it's very clean in there. Very, very clean and back out to our room. We are heading out of our room to explore a little bit. I mean, this hotel is spotless too, it's just, it's older, historic, and on Route 66, which is awesome, but it's just spotless. And every time you go through, you'll see different names on all these rooms. I want to go down and see where the suites are, like the John Wayne suite and all that. And Tom Nix, and there's just all these cool, like little murals on the wall or paintings. William Holdem, and then this is the elevator again. Now we went down before as we came up to our room at a little sitting area here. This is just so cool. And Route 66 is just right over there. Henry Fonda. Some more of the artwork on there.
<laughs> Stairwell. Humphrey Bogart. Mm -hmm. These are some cool names throughout here. I bet your mom would know every single one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to have to go put our name over the restaurant, too. The restaurant, like, every time you walk in the lobby, it just smells Arrow crazy Flynn. good. You want to shut oh. the doors, babe? Sorry, I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh. May West. May West. Uh oh, Steph, right on the left is a very famous one, you know. Oh, Catherine Hepburn. Everybody knows who Catherine is. We're down on the first floor now, kind of exploring. I think there's at least a John Wayne suite this, this way. That's one of the ones we wanted to stay in. But there's Doris Day. Doris Day, I know Yeah. But we were going to be in Orlando, so this is a very last minute change for us due to the hurricane. Our thoughts and prayers with everybody from the hurricane. Yes, oh, my oh. Lucille Ball. Thoughts and prayers for everybody with the hurricane or the floods. Uh, but there's Lucille Ball. There's the John Wayne room right there. So that's the John Wayne suite. That's neat. Jack Penny. Joseph Cotton. Kirk Douglas. Some stairs right here. This is just such a cool hotel. I mean, there's three floors, or four, four, three floors, right, Steph? Yeah. Three floors of just all this. Ronald Reagan presidential suite. Yep. If we get back here again, we'll try to book that for sure. Ronald Reagan Still presidential right suite. Jim Hours, 8 to 10. Jim uh, Oh, oh it's on the paper, stairs. yeah. <laughs> Checking out the gym. You got the treadmill, the whole wall of mirrors, free weights. Pretty much everything you need in here. Oh, yeah, there's pool doors too. So you can go right from the gym right out to the pool door. That's pretty cool. And a fan and a TV in here. It's a nice setup in here. All right, we'll show you the menu here at the hotel restaurant. Um, this is the dinner menu. Um, so it gives you a little information about the hotel down here. And open it up. Jeremy, you want to hold that up so the sure. glare set on it? Starts off with the appetizers. They have a bunch of good looking ones. We're skipping appetizers. We're not super hungry for that. And um, they have soups and salads. They have your entrees here. I got that steak. I'll probably take that. Well, they don't even have refrigerators here, do they? Not, not nor we have, no. So I'll probably not eat all that, but I got that. And um, they have burgers here. We got the John Wayne burger. Baja guacamole. Sounds that good. sounds good. Roy Rogers burger. I like how they name them after the people that have stayed here, the famous people. They have some Rancho El Rancho specialties there. And on the back page here, if you'll flip that, they have some more specialties. Um, those fajitas sounded very good. I really wanted them, but they said they were out of fajitas. Oddly enough, I guess. Maybe like a skirt steak or special whatever steak they use for them. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. And then. Those desserts, Jeremy said, sound very good. He wants to try one of those. Which ones did you want to try? Um, the carrot cake or the hot chocolate lava cake sounds good. Look at this place here. This is nice in here. It's very nice. I love it. Oh, the raised ceilings and everything. Yeah. And as soon as you pull in the parking lot, you smell this restaurant here. They have a bar down that way to the left corner mm -hmm. here. So if you just want to get a drink or something, you can go there and get the in the bar. But we just have to eat in the actual restaurant here. And it was about an hour wait. So if you're coming to check in and you want to try this place, I would say check in, put your name in, and they'll call your cell phone when it's ready. Because a lot of people so come here just, just to, to eat. eat. Here. They don't yeah. stay here. We see a lot of people coming and going, just driving here, yeah. coming up, putting their name in, then leaving, coming back to eat. So yeah, check in, you want to do it, put your name in, and then come down here. But look at that. All the famous, famous faces on this is a really cool place. Our food has arrived. And what did you get, Steph? This is the sirloin. This is calabacita which is zucchini, squash, onions, um, tomatoes mixed, and then fries. Looks really good. And this is the John Wayne burger here. It's got the guacamole on it. It's got like a cheddar jack cheese. And I want the french fries with the green chili on it. Looks really good. Mid-meal updates. It's pretty good. The fries are really good. I love the green chili on the fries. The burger's also really good. All around solid burger, the uh, avocado or guacamole is really good. It looks good. Just, yeah, just all around, just a great, great burger for sure. Yeah. So what about your stuff? Mine is really good. So I think I misspoke and said these were tomatoes. They're actually red peppers. It's very good. A little spicy. This steak has a um, green chili butter. Green chili butter on it. So even though I didn't get fajitas, I kind of get that um, little spice to it. So overall, they're really in these fries. Delicious. They're so crunchy. And yeah, crispy. I love the green chili on it. Yeah. Those are really good. Yeah.
we are getting ready to check out of the El Rancho. Got our keys in our hand here, about to go to the front desk and drop them off. It's been a long time since I've seen real keys. Uh, super clean hotel, great staff, uh, a lot of historic stuff here to look at, on Route 66 as well. It's just an all in all a great hotel. Um, the food here was really good. That steak Stephanie had was excellent with that, uh, uh, that green chili butter on it. And uh, the burger I had was really good too. The avocado here was fantastic. So all in all, just a great hotel. Definitely check it out. You know, it is historic. So the rooms are a little bit smaller than normal and the bathrooms are definitely smaller than you're used to. But it's just that historic charm is awesome. I think we'll definitely come back in the future. And in the future, I think we'll definitely try to find uh, or try to book one of those big suites they have here and check one of those out. They do have a three or four suites that are like really big. So all in all, yeah, just awesome hotel. Check it out, especially on Route 66. You can't beat it. It's a big part of Route 66 history. Also history in the area, film history, you know, movies in the area. So it's just, just tons and tons of history here. With that being said, the nerds are out. Mm -hmm.